You're listening to the Mark and Russia podcast, broadcasting from the belly of the bear in Chelyabinsk, Russia. Kick back and enjoy the show. Don't be a pussy. In three, two, one. Hi, this is Mark in Russia with a product review. The title says that this will be a comparison of the MXL009 USB to the AKG Perception 120 USB. It isn't really a comparison per se, but I'll be using both in order for you, the listener, to detect some difference in sound. The MXL009 USB is my latest and greatest microphone and costs twice as much as the AKG. I'm using my Zoom H2 portable recorder to record all parts of this podcast with the exception of the demonstration files of the two microphones. So I guess that it will also be a comparison against the Zoom H2. I will use no post-processing on any of the sound files and demonstrate them as raw. Frankly, the MXL really doesn't need post, in my opinion. I really like my AKG microphone. And for the price, it is an amazing microphone, in my opinion. AKG is truly a great name in microphones and music. The main problem I had with it is that, as a USB microphone, it does not allow real-time monitoring with headphones, and also does not include any mixer controls on the mic itself. This can result in having to sometimes redo a file when you hear it after completion, on the other hand, the MXL has real-time monitoring and an eighth-inch headphone jack on the body of the mic. In addition, it has a volume control for the headphones, a gain control, and a mixer for headphones versus the DAW input. The MXL comes with a great-looking and functional aluminum carrying case, which also has keys and two locks. It also comes with the stand base, and the stand section which attaches the mic to the stand base. It comes with a nice cleaning cloth and a 10 foot USB cord, pretty much the style of a printer cable. The carrying case is divided with foam cutouts shaped like the items that go into the case, but also another cutout which is big enough to store a shock mount in, but the microphone does not come with one. The AKG does not come with a carry case, but the cardboard box that it comes in is pretty rugged, and I've saved it for the times I need to transport. It has foam cutouts shaped to fit the items which go into it. The stand it comes with is not really rugged, but it works okay. Just be careful of the placement of the legs in order to prevent the microphone from tipping over. It also comes with a 16-foot USB cable, one of the longest ones I've seen before. The outside dimensions of the MXL microphone appear to be some sort of a dark secret. Nowhere was I able to find this information prior to purchase. And even when I wrote to Marshall asking this question, and also about the necessary shock mount, they told me about the shock mount, but that the dimensions were in the office, and the person was on the road. Top secret stuff. Anyhow, I'm going to spill my guts and tell you the outside dimensions, and if I happen to disappear... Investigate Marshall. The dimensions written on the photo may be small to read, so I'll read them out loud. The length is 8.5 inches, or 215 millimeters. The diameter at the grill area is 2 inches, or 50 millimeters. And the main body is 1.8 inches in diameter, or 45 millimeters. This mic is not small due to the internal mixer, but it is still smaller and lighter than the Blue Yeti Pro. The AKG mic is shorter and also lighter than the MXL at 6.5 inches long, 165 millimeters. The body diameter is consistent at 2.08 inches or 53 millimeters. I'll set up the AKG microphone about 10 feet from the computer, although the room is not treated. I'll use the stand that came with the microphone, but I'll be using a Nady shock mount with a built-in pop filter. This Nady shock mount with the built-in pop filter is pretty nice and can be bought for about $30 online. 
First of all, I don't need any know-it-alls writing to tell me that the microphone is installed backwards in relation to the pop filter. I turned it this way to show more detail for the photo and know enough to rotate it back before I use it. The MXL mic is set up on a swing arm boom using an MXL low pro profile shock mount and a nice dual element pop filter. The microphone will be about three feet from the computer when I use it. What you are hearing now is the AKG Perception 120 USB microphone. I'm speaking about six inches from the mic and I'm using the pop filter shown in the photo. I'm not using any post-processing in order for you to hear the mic raw. The AKG mic tends to pick up more background noise than the MXL mic. Okay, what you're hearing now is the MXL 009 USB microphone. I'm speaking about six inches from the mic and I'm using the pop filter shown in the photo. I'm not using any post-processing in order for you to hear the mic raw. I find that this mic almost seems to cancel out noise like a dynamic mic but with the rich sound of a condenser mic. I tested the two microphones at the highest common rate that they shared, 24-bit and 48 kilohertz sample rate. I'm going to continue using this uh, MXL mic for the rest of this podcast. I see no reason to stop and switch to my Zoom H2. While the MXL009 USB is the most expensive USB microphone available today, I feel that it is worth the money and I'm very happy with my purchase. I also understand that now the Blue Yeti Pro actually has a higher, or rather the highest sample rate available today at 192 kilohertz. But I tried the Yeti Pro and the higher sample rate did not translate into better sound. One of the main components of a microphone is the diaphragm. The following shows the diaphragm size in my two mics and also in the Blue Yeti Pro. The MXL009 USB has a gold sputtered 32 millimeter diameter diaphragm. My AKG Perception 120 has a 17 millimeter diameter diaphragm. The Blue Yeti Pro has 14 millimeter diaphragm. Now granted, Blue Yeti Pro has three different microphones in it, but you're only using one at any given time, usually. Well, there's a lot more that could be told about these two great mics, but there are a lot of other reviews on either, but really none which compare the two. Thanks for listening through to the end of this video, and I hope to have you listen to my next podcast. Thank you, and goodbye. That's a wrap.